When an investor suffers from hot hand fallacy, he or she perceives trends where none exist and then takes action on these erroneous impressions. People tend to look for patterns and attribute trends to methods other than simple chance. The concept of hot hand is taken from a study on the performance of basketball players. In basketball, players are often thought of as being hot or cold. The study analyzed the outcomes of players' shots in hundreds of games. While basketball fans believe that a player's chances of hitting a basket are greater following a hit than following a miss, similar beliefs were expressed by professional basketball players too, the study concluded that the outcomes of both field goal and free throw attempts were largely independent of the outcome of the previous attempt. Looking at this from another angle, people are often asked, if a fair coin is tossed six times, which one of the following outcomes is more likely? Heads, tails, heads, tails, tails, heads, or heads, 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 tails, tails, tails. The answer is that the chances of both outcomes are the same. However, since scenario one looks more random, most people believe that scenario one is more likely in a fair coin toss. People will also tend to believe that the coin flipper in the second scenario has a special technique. When selecting a money manager, a one-year return, or attractive returns for the past few years, could cause clients to drop their current money manager in favor of the hot manager. This can lead to dangerous assumptions and predictions, when instead investors should be focusing on the long-term track record of a particular money manager. It's impossible to predict which asset class will be the best or worst in any given year. The performance of any given asset class can have drastic periodic changes. This image illustrates the annual performance of various asset classes in relation to one another. In times when one asset class dominates all others, as was the case for international stocks from 2004 to 2007, it is easy to lose sight of the fact that historical data shows it is impossible to predict the winners for any given year. After four stellar years, international stocks fell to the bottom in 2008, rebounded to the top position once again in 2009, and then fell once more to the bottom in 2011. Similarly, long-term government bonds were the top performer in 2008, disastrously sank to the bottom in 2009, and rebounded to the top position once again in 2011. These types of performance reversals are evident throughout this example. Although investing in a diversified portfolio may prevent an investor from capturing top performer returns in any given year, this strategy can also protect an investor from experiencing extreme losses due to the belief that an asset that has previously performed well will continue to do so. Investor return, also known as asset-weighted return, factors in the timing of investors' purchases and sales. It takes into account the fact that not all of a fund's investors bought it at the beginning of a period and held it until the end. Therefore, investor return depicts the return earned by a fund's typical investor. Investor returns support the theories about investors' poor timing. The image illustrates the divergence in total return and investor return for a mutual fund selected from Morningstar's open-end fund database. The fund's 10-year total return was 6.6% but its 10-year investor return was negative 12%, quite a difference. The fund's net cash flow tells the story of the discrepancy. Investors piled into the fund during its run-up, with most inflows occurring near the investment's peak. Investors then fled as the fund's returns plummeted, with most outflows occurring near the investment's bottom. In fact, investors were still leaving the fund as it rebounded and consequently were not around to recoup some of their losses. Some fund companies develop numerous trendy funds that tend to attract investors chasing whatever's hot, and otherwise do little to encourage a long-term investment perspective. These types of funds tend to produce relatively poor investor returns. On the other hand, most funds with consistently superior investor returns are from shops that encourage long-term investing and discourage short-term trading. As the preceding images and commentary show, investor misconceptions can be quite dangerous. It's important to understand asset allocation concepts and to construct an asset allocation policy. Identifying and understanding investor misperceptions is critical.